Smoke rings might seem like a pretty gimmick, but they're actually a fascinating piece of aerodynamics. What happens is a blast of air gets dragged back at the edges and folds itself into an incredibly stable swirling donut. It's just how do I get that to happen at explosive speeds? My challenge is going to be to create a vortex with a really powerful explosion. That means the air forming it will be travelling faster than the speed of sound, which totally changes the way it behaves. If I'm going to do it with a big explosion, I fancy trying to understand a small explosion first. That's why I'm using the bursting of a balloon. But producing even a small vortex ring with an explosion isn't easy. Nothing. That suggests to me there is no vortex coming out of that. That's just a turbulent tumble of air. Absolutely no ring-shaped vortex. Plan B. And I've discovered a neat trick. Adding a barrel to the same piece of kit seems to smooth out the airflow, producing that all-important vortex ring. Although we couldn't see it, I'm convinced that that was a vortex ring. Now, I've just got to scale it up to as big an explosion as I can handle. What I'm aiming to do is turn those delicate little smoke rings into high-speed battering rams. After hours of experimentation, I think I've discovered the perfect design for what, when scaled up, will become my massive Vortex Cannon. This is the final prototype for our Vortex Cannon. It's powered by a mixture of air and one of the most explosive gases on Earth, acetylene. I make the explosive gas mix by injecting acetylene through this little hole in the back. I then ignite it by creating a spark between these two screws. But the key is this conical barrel here. It allows the expanding gases to expand in a smoother, more controlled way just the best conditions to create the most stable vortex ring possible. That's the theory, but let's try and put it to the test and knock over this bottle from 20 feet. I've calculated I need 125 millilitres of acetylene in here to produce the perfect mix. When this goes, it will produce a supersonic shockwave. The thing is, can my barrel turn that into a ring-shaped vortex. <sighs> Here goes. Whoa! Oh. Uh, yes. Pretty good, but I promised I was going to knock down a pile of bricks. So I'm going to scale up the prototype by more than 150 times, and if it works, we might just be able to see a vortex ring. It's something I've never tried before, and I'm not sure if it will really work. So let's just hope the late nights are going to be worth it. My prototype vortex cannon blew a bottle into a bin from 20 feet. But I've been working day and night to go a lot, lot further and do something that this country has never seen before. I've taken a huge risk and scaled it up. What I'm hoping to do is produce a vortex ring so powerful that it creates a visible ring in the still air around it. An enormous amount of thought and experimentation went into creating this, a vortex cannon. A one litre explosion goes off in here, it drives high speed gas down there, and a perfect ring vortex emerges from here. We love it, but not as much as this. 150 litres of exploding acetylene and oxygen comes down here, 12 feet of steel barrel, and emerges there at a three-foot aperture as a perfect vortex ring, I hope. Now, the power of this is an unknown quantity, but here, in this quarry, we're going to do a whole series of experiments and find out just what we've made. 
The ultimate challenge is to produce a visible donut of air so powerful that it will do what the big bad wolf could never do, take out a wall of bricks. But just like in the fairy tale, we'll start with something a bit lighter. According to legend, a really good blast of air should be able to bring down a house of straw. Let's see how it goes with an explosively generated vortex ring. Here goes. This is the gas. It's the first time it's ever been fired, and with 150 litres of one of the world's most explosive gas mixes in there, I'm not even sure that this is really a safe place to stand. Seems about right. I'm going to need these, I reckon. Here we go. Three, two, one. Call me hopeful, but there was definitely something there. But was it a vortex ring? Filmed at 1300 frames per second, there is no doubt. But the ring you can see is not a smoke ring. It's formed by the pressure drop within the vortex, condensing the water out of the damp air above the lake. A 200 mile an hour cloud. Ho, ho, ho. Bring on the sticks and bricks. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yes! Fantastic! Well, it makes mincemeat of a house of sticks. Bring on the bricks. Even in fairy stories, they couldn't get a blast of air to knock down a house of bricks. We're heading into the world of the unknown a little bit, so we've got to experiment. We're going to try changing the elevation on it, changing the gas mix in there, see if we get a perfect gas mix. So that's just the right amount of molecules of acetylene reacting with just the amount of molecules of oxygen in the air. So there's no passengers in there. It's got to be all explosion. Let's see how that goes. Three, two, one. Hey! Yes! That's incredible! 